into it the complex argument around nutrition because as a country we talk about food and nutrition security and and this is very important so that uh, the, the the complexity of of the topic we're discussing is well understood uh, luckily as a country this is uh, enriched in our constitution section 27 1b of the country uh, is on access to food and water by the way just to inform your audience uh, how many of us are aware that uh, food is the third based uh, basic human need third only from air and water so th this is a very important topic we're talking about now if you look if you look at the UN and the FAO which is the food and agri organization there is a uh, globally acclaimed and understood definition of food security uh, food and nutrition security here we are measuring it at an individual level that's why i in introduced the issues of nutritional aspect into it it is measured at a household level you then move to the national level and uh, this is where now in our country you hear a lot of people talking about food security at national i mean south africa at national level being food food secure however at a household and individual level it's a different story we also look at it at a regional level and and, and globally so so this definition then that looks at uh, things like having physical access to this food uh, that must be nutritious, that must be there for you to live your active and healthy life for as long as you live, uh, becomes what we do. So as a country to harmonize this, this, this phenomenon and concept of food security, we then established uh, what we call South African Vulnerability Assessment Committee. And this committee took already well-known metrics and indicators globally to really start measuring the topic of food security.